this is a shout out to Japan, the whole Japan, all of it. You feel all me? The whole entire country. area. You feel me? Yeah, you feel me? Why, why, why wouldn't I get down from a window? Never mind. I'm chilling. Yeah, exactly. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you. Yeah. I don't so, like the make show. This I don't shout like out to Lyric. Going. Lyric is over there holding it down, too. So shout out to Lyric holding it down at the um at the Wrestle Kingdom. And the, damn, nigga, why did you see? <laughs> but, Listen, uh, like Jules said, bro, I check my swing. <laughs> I, I, I check my swing. You feel me? You can't, you can't blame me for what I said if I didn't say it. You feel me? I ain't even say it. I, I ain't even say. I, I said it, but I, I, I was gonna say. Never mind. Anyways, listen. Someone said it. Somebody said it. You feel me? And listen. Complex. <laughs> Y'all are hilarious, bro. Hey, listen. We have a new IWGP champion, Tetsuya Naito. Destino. Oi. Big action. B Sonata. Gang, gang. Listen. You think he called Zero. Tanahashi was like, hey, yo, hey, yo, big dog. I mean, dog, listen, if you just pay attention to New Japan, that shit is so fucking predictable the way they do shit, bro. This nigga wins the G1. This nigga wins the title six months later. Okay, this nigga wins the G1. This nigga wins the title. This nigga wins the G1. This nigga wins the title. I'm like, all right, bro, I get it. I get it. You win the G1. You win the title. <laughs> <laughs> you get the belt. I'm catting off. You feel me? That's not entirely true. But with this particular situation, it was kind of the right. I'm like, um, in 2004, the winner did not win. Like, yeah, bro. Like, like yo, I'm, I'm, I'm fucked I'm, up. Relax. You feel me? I'm clearly exaggerating. You feel me? But you feel me? For this particular situation, the writing was damn near on the wall. You feel me? Like for for months on end, you feel me? It seemed like niggas was like, "Bro, this nigga Sonata fucking sucks." You feel me? Who gives a fuck about the just five guys? Like, all right, bro, I get it. You feel me? I'm talking about. So now you got Naito as a champion. You feel me? I'm talking about. You know, that's something you can be proud of. All right, well, we salute that. Yes, always, about- man. Yeah, always, <laughs> man. I remember. I remember when these niggas hated Naito. I remember when he was a baby face, and it was like they were saying this nigga garbage, this nigga trash. Don't nobody, don't nobody want to be associated with this man. And now look at him, champ. Again, again, again. Mm-hmm. Naito's my guy, man. Shout out to Naito. Shout out to Naito. Hey, man. Uh, speaking of champions, uh, David Finley defeated Will Ospreay and John Moxley to become the first ever, uh, the inaugural uh, IWGP Global oh, champion. champion. Hey, y'all <laughs> seen the belt? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All that is is just like what, what, what CJ be saying. That's just the, the old IWGP Intercontinental Championship with a little parsley on top of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Put a little, I'm saying, put a little bam, little, I'm saying, little donkey sauce on that. And then, <laughs> and then it was like, yo, here's your belt. They use the same white, um, little white strap and everything, bro. I'm like, I said, man, y'all, y'all niggas, man, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. At least, at least, at least, at least the obvious didn't win it. That was pretty fun. But that wasn't even the best part of it. You know what I'm saying? Because he wanted to go howl at <laughs> Dolph. It Dolph. Nemeth. Yo, yes, sir. Yeah, all yeah, Nick Nimeth and his brother who works in AEW that you know starting shit Ryan. with CM Punk. They they were in the crowd and they were his prominently name, featured. Kid. Yo, yo, chill. <laughs> they were prominently featured. They were you know, there were plenty of camera shots to them entering and during the actual match itself. And after the match, what happened, Graham? This nigga gonna walk up to <laughs> Nick Nimeth. <laughs> Nick Nimeth? What? How do you say it? I, I don't, bro, I don't know this man. Bro, I've been calling this nigga Dolph for fifteen years, bro. Yeah. I don't. I don't Dolph. know him as any. Dolph. I, I, young Dolph. I, I, I believe it's it's Nimeth because his brother is Ryan Nimeth. So there you go. Oh, that's his name. I would just. I don't. I, I'm sorry. I don't know what dude's name. Yeah, I just know. Yeah, All right, we so, got a watermark right there. Right. You know what I'm saying, man, listen, dog. I'm sorry, I'm Ryan. Ryan. His brother is his brother, man. That's, you know how they used to say, like, you feel me, like Ray J. You feel me was like Brandy brother, and then Ryan is Dolph. <laughs> okay, brother. Nigga, ain't that Ziggler's brother? Ain't that Ziggler brother? <laughs> <laughs> ain't that Ziggler brother? You feel me? It's complicated. <laughs> It's oh. So it's complicated. It's complex. You feel me? So, so uh, 
I don't know, man. I I, I saw this uh, after they did that. You feel me? He walked up to this nigga and was like, Dolph, like, you want to get in my face? You think you could come get in my face? And David Finley's like, you think you could be in my presence? And then they start fighting and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying? They, they go to the back. David Finley cut his little promo. Dolph fly over the little counter. You feel me? Like, 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 bro, in Vegas or wherever that was that, that flew over Yo. the counter over to the judge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is crazy. And so all that happened, right? Dolph and, and then Dolph pick up the title. Dolph pick up the title. Talking about if you're gonna be a champion, you gotta do what's right and do what's right. And when you go out and you do what's right, sometimes when you're doing what's right, things are gonna go left. And then you gotta still do what's right. And then once you do what's right, you can take the title to the top. And if you're gonna be a champion at the top. I mean, you gotta be a champion at the top doing what's right. And I'm like, bro. He did not say do what's right that many times, did he? I didn't hear the phone. If you go if, if you go right, if you do what's right and then go left, then you make a U-turn. Like, yeah, uh, you, you're right, Nick. It just it just like I don't know. It just like all right, cool. So he, so, so, so he sounds like he was being fake inspiration like Giannis that time. <laughs> he definitely read the first 12 pages of um do what's right. It sounded like he was trying to cut an inspirational promo, but it just kind of, for me, it ended up coming off like a regular Ziggler promo. Um, oh, come on, man. Don't do yeah, that. You don't, like, you don't like the little yeah. promo he did with the Miz where he was like, sometimes the things that love you don't love you back. That shit hit me right here, man. He should have got Listen, this shit. Like, it should have been me. Now I'm like, all right, I got and you. That's the, so that's, that's, okay, so that's, Wish him love, wish him luck, and all of that. You feel me? It looks like he's heading into a program with, with, with David Finley, you know what I'm saying, for the global championship, you know what I'm saying, and all that, you know what I'm saying, of course. course the, yeah, but so, I, and that's what I was going to talk about, too. You feel me? Because the, they put out the video, the wanted man thing, he fighting zombies and all of that. I'm like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how Ryan Nimitz ended up showing up to Wrestle Kingdom with him. You just kicked his head off. Your brother was just a zombie six hours ago. Like, what's, what's going on? Uh, I he had, to, he had to bring his brother ultimately, along. Sometimes, ultimately, sometimes you got to drag your loser-ass brother along. That's what we've seen it plenty of times. Ultimately, my thing with Ziggler, with, with, with Nick, is I just haven't seen anything new from him in I don't know how many years. So I don't know. I wish him luck. You feel me? But I feel like I, I got to see it first this time. I got to see it first. This is his first time out of the WWE system. You know what I'm saying? He's 40 some years old. I don't know what this is going to be like. You feel me? So I'm like, I'm excited for it, but then at the same time, I'm kind of like, eh, apprehensive because it was a real surprise. Oh, nah, so nah. nah, nigga, you a hater, bro. I'm, I'm with this. Like, yo, for, like 2014, 2013, 2012, me is all over this, bro. Yeah, man, cut whatever promos you want. Do whatever stupid-ass zombie bullshit you want, bro. I'm going to be right here in the corner. I'm like, yeah, you do that shit. Because I, I wanted to see, I wanted to see him leave WWE uh, for a while. I thought he was gonna like, which for, like I thought he was gonna. I I don't mean it in the way you mean it, Graham. You mean it. You mean it, like, you, I meant it. I meant yo. I, I like I sensed that. I can feel. I I heard it. I heard it right up here. Hey, I wanted to see him leave because I wanted to see him grow a little bit and be one of those guys who like. Okay, well I'm cooking, and now I'm coming back and I'm using all that worldly knowledge that I got. To, to catapult right. myself to the front. That's what I wanted to. I no, no, you meant this. I'm tired of seeing this nigga on my TV. How you how come you get a championship match every other month? Like that's what you meant. <laughs> and look, and look, and look, he just show up to New Japan and get a championship title opportunity. He just show up like this title means more than me to me than anything already. He's like, I don't even know what it's called, but it's the global title. And John Moxley, too. You feel me? Like, what title did I just lose? Al Ford, the Mid Atlantic, you feel me? International, Intercontinental. There's so many fucking belts. Uh, but <laughs> I'm just like, bro, I. I just haven't seen it, bro. But I, I know, like, real talk, like when when the whole thing with the Miz was like, if I lose, I'll leave, type thing. You feel me? Like, I wanted to see him for real, for real, leave. You feel me? Because I mm -hmm. wanted to see him take that oh. excursion, go ahead, pull up. You feel me? Wherever, whenever. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? Really, I don't know. Become a little bit more rounded, become a little bit more of a developed character at the same time as well. You feel me? So this is his first opportunity to do that. So it's like, like I said. At this point, I got to see it because you had six years after that. Plus, you feel me to show me something different and you didn't. Yeah. Hey, yo, this is so funny to me, bro. Look at this shit. Hey, yo, Ryan Nimitz being the guy like, mama said you got to take me to the store. It's hilarious, first off. <laughs> and um, I like that. And 
Listen, but listen, you give and you give promo. He was in the back. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't be here without him. Listen, Ali started hey. rapping before Nelly uh, made Down Down Baby, Your Street, and the Range Rover. So, uh, listen. Hey. Yo, not for nothing, but this man, this man tried. And, and you know what they did? Every time he tried to branch out and do new shit, they turned him into the six man. He like I said it before, and people like some people took it um as an insult, some people took it Austin as a compliment. Reeves, when I said Dolph Ziggler is the greatest sixth man in WWE history. I stand on that because every time you needed to put that man in any type of scenario, any type of situation, you need a championship match. The, and have you don't have anything there. Just put Dolph Ziggler in there. He'll cut a few promos. He'll get you there. Uh, you need him to go down to NXT, win a title. He can do that. You need him to to come in and do some do some other shit with the Intercontinental Championship. He can do that. You need to put him in a tag team. He can do that. Dolph Ziggler is the greatest six man in WWE history. He's definitely but good being a six man, being being six man only gets you so far. Sometimes you wanna you wanna be a starter, and they was like, nah. <laughs> They were they was talking to him like uh like uh they, like the Thunder was talking to James Harden. It was like, oh, you you want to what? You want to start? You want your own team? Hey, get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> yo, you call you calling Dolph calling calling Nick Nimitz the Jacoby Brissett of uh, wrestling is hilarious. But um, yo, that this is what what Ken said like it was hilarious. Like I just got here and this title means a lot to me. Like no, the title the Heat and the title got here on the same flight. And now you think it can't be that much to you? Like, all right, all right, Nick, you got it, bro. Hey, bro, the yeah, title man. sitting in the overhead bin on the way over here. You talking about? <laughs> yeah, man. You point, you pointing up to there. I tell you, you pointing up to you like you look, you pointing across the aisle to the guys that's across the aisle. You're like, hey, hey, that title up there means a lot to me, <laughs> bro. Like he, like, but don't even know what's on the plane, like an air marshal. And then you want me to tell me that you care about that shit? All right, bro. All right, you got that, man. I don't even look. care. I'm happy that Brian. I'm happy that old goat Brian Danielson got his moment. You know what I'm saying? Like this was because he's talking about this for. I thought he. I thought he worked that into his um contract the last time before he left. It was like, yo, can you let me go to Japan and work. You know what I mean? Work a little bit. And like I remember he said he wanted to be. You know what I'm saying? Being the G1 and Wrestle Kingdom and shit. And I'm glad that he got his opportunity to do that shit because if anybody was built <laughs> for that shit, it's old goat. Yo, he did. He did try to get that in uh, his contract, but Vince was like, yo, if you're going to be working over there, only WWE niggas going to be working over there. Y'all not doing a little, y'all not trying to get a little, you know, promotional match between any AEW guys, any um, TNA guys, none of that. Like, you going to go over there, it's just going to be you. And then after that, they was like, nah, we can't, we can't make that commitment to you. So that's why he was like, you know what? I think I'll leave. You muted. Hey, bro. No, man. It was. For, let me go back to that um that um global title. That looked like the title that Alundra Blaze threw away on the um <laughs> on the episode of Nitro. But uh, yeah, he was definitely built for that because he's always wanted to do that. And for him to finally get that moment, it was dope. <laughs> Run around dressed like Nick Fury, as somebody said, and you know, what I mean, fighting the best wrestler in the world. And then, like, and then he gave him that backhanded compliment. It was like, yo, the first time we fought, that motherfucker tapped out like a bitch. But uh, this time, you know what I mean? He, he showed why he was the best wrestler in the world. And then, um, and that's why he won. You know what I'm saying? So I was just so proud to be here and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, you, you got, see, you got that. That's why I love Brian Daniels. And, like, cause this man, like, be giving takeaway compliments like somebody black on to. He'd be like, yeah, man. He, you just see you walking up and just be like, you know what? I love how you just put on anything. I just love that about you. And you're like, hold up. What? <laughs> what? I wish I, could, I wish I could be as carefree as you do in your life as I could be in my life. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Exactly. Like, <laughs> like bro, what? But yeah, man, like it was like it was plenty of tweets saying like I don't know how they were getting the no like the best match of the year and it's only January. We're getting the same like rerun of tweets that we get like every year about that. But like, bro, it was a good show. Like to be honest with you, like I, I caught some of it like while I was at work, you know, bullshitting. But uh, but yeah, it was a good show. <laughs> you want to know how that is? You, you want to know how it is that 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 is only January and we're already getting the best match of the year because it's Wrestle Kingdom. Wrestle Kingdom is in January and y'all do this every year. If 
<laughs> Y'all do this every year. So surprised that Wrestle Kingdom has great matches. Oh, my God. I can't believe that this is a match of the year contender already just four days into the year. No, nigga. Nigga, this is par for hey. the course. It's a part of the plan. I, we I'm set not going to lie. Like, like, you know how I said last week I, I'd be disingenuous with the tweets sometimes? Yeah, I definitely got a little disingenuous last year. It might have said something like that, <laughs> bro. We trying to keep the lights on over here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We trying to keep the lights on over here, man. My bad. So I, I got to do a little line on. If I got to do a little line on the TL, like I, 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 I do it. A little bit of line. You feel me? A little bit of line. Ain't never heard nobody mob. You feel me? Yeah. Ain't never heard nobody. What's up? Yo, that fuck bum ass nigga turned into a werewolf. Oh, team. Yeah, wolf the, 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 the what was it? The the Oswang or the Oswang or whatever. I don't know. He got like I, don't, I thought it was like a bear pig it's mask bad. or something with sharp teeth or something. Like, I, I thought it was bear stupid. Super. I zero. thought it was stupid. You know what I'm saying? But I do do what you want to do, P. You know what I'm saying? That's that's hey. that's all you. Hey, niggas, be getting creative. Go ahead. Nah, nah, nah. Never mind. Don't, don't kick it to me. I was about to say some egregious shit. <laughs> we'll move on. DJP said about Steph Curry. All right, I don't want to hear nothing that he says or wants to do. All right, you don't know nothing about anything in life. Bro, I'm just saying, bro. All these, all these niggas be talking about like I'm getting creative. I do my, I be getting. The... <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't want to be. Oh my god, bro. Nigga, that's Team Wolf. <laughs> bro, like all these, bro, all these niggas be talking about I'm in my creative bag, I get to do what I want, you feel me? Flexibility and all that shit. And then all they do is just steal some shit from anime or a video game. It's like, all right, bro, like hey, you got it. Like, sure. Yeah, that's super that's super mad cre- that's mad creative, just remixing shit. You feel me? You got it, but sure. All right, cool. <laughs> Whatever. Where we at, man? Yo, the child said it's part of his culture, eh? Hey. hey man. Uh, I thought that's my uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, shout out to Marv Tuber. They said it's an it's Oswang, a part of the Filipino culture. Hey, look, man, I ain't never claimed to be. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't never claimed to on any of that shit. My I'm bad. Not no like, that's historian, part, dog. You feel me? If, that, if that's part of your, if, if that's part of his culture, cool. But can I? But that, I, like, yo, if you if you giving up to your people. I can't hate on that, but I can definitely hate on this man as a person, and I can and I will continue to. 